Here we're going to be tying the hair's ear. First thing I did was just start my thread and lay down a uh, base coat. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to tie in the tails. For this we're just going to use a portion of the hair's mask from the rabbit. A section that's kind of right in between the eyes. That's where you're going to get your longer fibers. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to tie in our uh, gold tinsel. For this I'm just using like an oval, an oval tinsel. We're just going to tie that in on the side of the hook there. Take it all the way back to the tail. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to dub the body. For this you can just use a rabbit blend dubbing. You can blend your own with the actual mask or you can just buy it prepackaged. You can use synthetics, you can use naturals. Really you just want to get the color right. It's kind of like a tannish color. Like a natural rabbit color. And we're just going to wrap on a body just like that. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your gold tinsel and you're just going to segment the body and capture your tinsel. And you're going to clip off that extra piece of tinsel. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to tie in the uh, casing. For this you can use turkey, I'll even use pheasant sometimes. <clears throat> you just kind of want to have a modeled, a modeled look to it. I'm going to tie this back a little ways from where we stopped dubbing. I want to build up a bit of a thorax. You can trim off the butts that are facing off the front. You want the thorax to be about the third of the length of the entire fly. You don't want to make it too short. Go a little bit farther here. There we go. Then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to dub again. This will be the thorax portion. use the same color dubbing, same thing. And you're going to dub the thorax a little bit more generous. And the reason I do this is we're actually going to use a, a, a dubbing pick or a needle to kind of pull out some of the fibers for legs once we've dubbed the thorax. So for this I put a little bit extra on there. Try to get kind of a rounder, rounder profile. But you got to be careful not to overdo it too much. You can always overdo it with dubbing if you're not careful. Now what we're going to do is we're going to just pull over the pheasant tail fibers or the turkey fibers right over the top. Just like so. Capture those. Trim off the extras. And I'll kind of clean everything up right there by the eye. Then last thing you're going to do is you're just going to whip finish. That'll complete the tying portion of the fly. And all you have to do now is pick out the legs. For this you can just use a needle or a dubbing pick. I just have a little needle here handy. 
And what I do is I kind of pick them out a little long at first. And what I'll do is I'll get in there with my fingers and clean them all up. So I just make it pretty shaggy. And once you've done that, you just go in there with your fingers and you can pull out all the extras and the long portions. You just want to kind of have a little fuzzies hanging off the bottom, make it look like it's got some legs and some movement. And that's all there is to the the gold ribbed hairs here.